Why, hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. In the last video, we did we knocked out some more levels. Okay, we'll keep in this one. We're gonna head to probably the hardest level of the game, which is Toxic Tower. Let's get started, shall we? This level was easily the level that sapped the most lives from me when I played this game the first time on the GBA. This level, this, and it's probably made worse from this snake in this game because of, I, I may have mentioned it before, but his stupid charging mechanic for his super jump is just so awkward in this game. It's a lot easier to distinguish when it's ready on the GBA one, but in this one, sometimes I let the A button go too early and I mistime it. So I have DK coins down there. Jump, yump. So they ignore you there. And you have to use a super jump a lot. There's actually a trick that speedrunners use. Uh, like a kind of double jump that he has. Which is really funny. Well, that actually almost felt slower. There, ooh, there we go. That was nice. It's like a slower, or, um, it's like a double jump. And they just completely avoid using the super jump altogether. Which is really cool, but it's, it's actually pretty difficult pull off, so no way I'm doing it. Alright, squawks time and halfway point, so takes a lot of pressure. The hardest part of that level is probably rattly section, so, so you can knock that out. It's a little easier and then you can just spam nuts or eggs. There's actually a little shortcut you can take right here. More collectibles. Just what I want. You can never have too many collectibles. Ow! All right, that puts a little more stress on this. First one, you have to wait. I hate waiting. All right, that B looked a little awkward to me, so I felt like I needed to wait it out. Uh, and I don't think you know, with squawks, you the, like, the least... Oh, jeez. The, the thing you need to worry least about is the toxic... The, the poison reaching you here. Now... You need to be a little more worried because you can't go up as fast with the spider. Last bonus level is over here. As shown by the banana. There's actually a trick you can do with his webs that you can create. I may have, I think I may have mentioned that too. I don't remember. It's been eight months that you can create a web and then jump on it at the same time. I probably, I, I almost feel like I remember saying that. Okay, I didn't jump high enough. Please don't tell me I... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Do I die? I'm dying. I'm honestly dying. Yep. I'm going to go do that bonus level again. I'm cutting there. So you're not going to have to watch that level again. So I'll see you there. All right, I made it back. And no, I did not die the most embarrassing death on my way here. I did not. So don't think that I did. Right, let's this time let's not create a web that's at like the maximum height of our jump so we fall through it and then fall on the brambles and fail all right nice and slow nice and slow and there we go so look at how easy that was i cannot believe i missed that that's embarrassing that's embarrassing and you don't even get anything for losing the spider there lame Lame. That, see, that, I, I actually did that level pretty easily, so. And now it's the final boss. Are you guys ready? Because I sure am. Hey, it's DK, and we get a free creme coin. And now he's gone. That's cool. Oh, twas a trick. Was a trick. We've been fooled, but we've also 100% of that world, so we're gonna go up into the Flying Croc, which is like the last, last world of the game. And it's funny because in the GBA one, they actually put a small boss there named Kerosene, which is like a big dragon or a big Kremlin that breathes fire. That's kind of cool. But this, this is, I don't know what the point of this level is, it's just kind of there. Because K, K. Rule, if you haven't realized, actually has a parrot. Because, I mean, he's a pirate. Why wouldn't he? And his name is Screech. And 
you get to race him in this level. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm just dead. Nope, I'm not. Just get... Mm, don't throw me that way, please. No! Just come on. Thank you. Okay, too much speed. I gained too much speed there. I messed up. Doggone it. I was hoping I would pass by that first Cat 09 Tails fast enough. Where's Diddy? There he is. Dog. Ooh! I was hoping I'd pass over that fast enough so I would lose that second, that first Cat 09 Tails I jumped over or whatever. But he kind of followed me back, and there were two of them on screen at one time. That's bad. Get over here. Come on. Die. And I don't need to worry about you. I don't even care. And I just realized I can't get the bonus level when I... Uh, you need two people to get the bonus level here. And... Oh, boy. This is, this is what, this is what kind of level it's going to be. Oh, my gosh. This level is not even hard. This level is not hard. I'm making it look a lot harder than it is. I love how they put that coin there, so in case you need to fly somewhere. In case you ever fly someday. Then you can. Hey, I took out two of them. What do you think about that? Oh, did I take out four of them? I took out a three, a two, at least two of them. Maybe more. I may have to rely on bananas to actually survive here. If I keep dying like this. Yes, yes, yes. Do let's do our tango, and you die. Yep. Yeah. All right, we're good. Get out of here, burbs. All right, let's not mess that up. All right. Bonus level is up here, and you actually need two people to get up here because this bonus level is actually kind of interesting because you actually need two Kongs to do this. Dixie to get through this part, and Diddy to get through this part, or not. I need more speed than that. And luckily, you can just kind of get back into it. Oh! The worst part is throwing your Kong into the brambles, having them die, and then you have to set, you just have to go through it. So. I actually think you can just do this with Diddy. Ugh! That's terrible. I'm, I, I swear you can do that with Diddy. I feel like that should be a personal goal of mine, to just do it with Diddy. Problem is, there's like one of those parts that's actually kind of difficult, where you hover down with Dixie. All right. I jumped too early! If I keep failing this, I'm cutting these. This is, this is not good show at all. You deserve better than this. You deserve better use of your time. And I'm wasting it. I'm wasting your life away. Very slowly. Oh, that was really close. There we go. And then down. See, that's the part I was talking about. Alright, 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 alright. I'll switch to Dixie on that one part. But we're doing the rest of it with Diddy. I know I can. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, maybe, maybe I shouldn't do this with only Diddy. This is... Burr, 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 burr. Alright. We're doing it. We're doing it. I don't even know why this, this this bonus level is not that hard. I'm making it look a lot worse than it is. Okay, switch. And I'm gonna take my time falling down through here. And right, we need to get some speed up. See that? See? Look at how not hard that is. That is not hard, and that's the last bonus level in the game, by the way. So we only have like a few minutes to do the rest of this friggin' level, and we've done like nothing. Ugh. I think there's actually an exploit you can do with this. Okay, first off, I'm going back to get that DK barrel, that's for sure. I think if you fly over him... See? And I actually glitched it out, so I'm not racing him any anymore. That's a little exploit I learned from speedrunners. Shout out to DKC2 speedrunners. So yeah, so you, don't, you have no pressure at all. So you can just take your time through this level. You don't have to race him at all. So that's what I'm gonna do. You don't get the good. You don't get to hear the good music, unfortunately, which is actually. Oh, that was really close. Which is actually way better, in my opinion, in the GBA one. But I may be the only one who thinks that. So I'm just gonna, you know, take my time flying through this level. I don't know what the fascination is with this game and squawks and brambles. 
but doggone it, he appears in way too many levels that have brambles in them. I didn't actually think I was gonna be able to pull that, that off, that little glitch. Shoot! Ugh, is this the, no. Okay, I do not wanna mess this up, so I'm gonna take my time. That, what? Come on, that was, you cannot be serious with that. With that. That did not look like that hit me, but we're all dumb. Wait, wait, wait. I have to do it again? I have to do this glitch again? Oh well. I'm gonna do it again. Ha <laughs> ha Screw you, Screech. No one wants to race you. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. Not at all. Boom. I wish I could just fly through this like the speedrunners do, but I just gotta worry about beating it. Woo! Man, I never realized how we... Actually, actually, there's a DK barrel. I thought there was a DK barrel there. I just wasted more time. This, I'm just something. The the title of this video has to do with wasted time. Seriously, I've been wasting so much. For goodness sakes. And I failed to do it. Oh, great. well, I get to race him this time. Well, now you get to hear the music, so that's cool. It's not bad, it's not bad. But at least I don't have to worry about getting the DK coin and all that garbage. Just have to worry about winning. Ugh. The rate at which you descend. I do want that DK barrel back there. But. I don't actually don't think there was a DK barrel there where I said there was, so. So I may have just. Screwed myself. Oh my gosh, that was really close. Yeah, as long as you know where you're going, I guess, following bananas and such, you really don't have to worry about losing. It's more just less staying alive. See, that's really easy. Ugh. Man, and I wanted to do the boss in this. You know, I'm doing the boss right now. We're doing the boss right now. I don't care if this video takes forever. We're doing it. And stop shooting, my friend. Stop it. Rude. This boss fight is actually pretty long, so. It's a lot of waiting. Boom! I cannot count the number of times. A, it took me to actually try and beat, the number of tries it took me to beat this boss, and B, how many times I actually got shot by those stupid cannonballs that he throws out. Boom! Those that he, when you throw the cannonball in there, it jams his gun, and then he shoots it back out, and sometimes, if you, and it gets faster every time, by the way. I had a feeling that was going to happen, but you know what, I don't care, because every third hit you hit on him. Yeah, every third hit you get on him drops a DK barrel, so we're good here. And I think Diddy's actually my preferred Kong for this fight just because of his throwing motion. Doink. And there's actually an animation if you get too close to him with that, uh, that cannonball, he'll hit you with the butt of his shot, or shot of his gun. And that insta kills you, so do not do such a thing. Yeah, give it. He makes funnier noises on the GBA one too. He makes like a shocked noise, and then it blows up his gun. I don't know what the point was with adding this weird noise here. The when the freaking cannonballs do their cycles like that. It's really distracting. Ooh. And give me that barrel. I always like to give myself some space just to make sure I do not get insta-killed. And that's six hits, so we only have a few more to go. I'm 
Unfortunately, I cannot keep that barrel. I think as soon as you hit him, I do not want to get frozen by that. Those will freeze you, so you do not want to get by them. As soon as you hit K. Rule, that DK barrel disappears. So, Ugh. ooh, that was actually good timing. <laughs> I threw that. I thought I threw that a little too early. All those, because I'm pro. Those just slow you down. You can actually do a slow motion jump and still make it over those cannonballs. You should despite the ones. So, no big deal. Alright, these last ones are probably the worst. I hate these. Because those reverse your controls. Come on. No, I'm just going to chill right here. Oh, I guess not. Okay, oh, please, please. Woo! I think as you stay over in this corner, he can't do anything to you, so. And I threw it the wrong way! Woo! Oh, gosh. I did not want to do that. Oh, my gosh, I actually dodged him. Woo! That was really close. No, 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 no. All right, I'm going over to the corner again. The corner of shame! I'm running. You ain't getting me. Uh, come on, there it is. Oh, that was sick. Come on. Oh, then that last cannonball, seriously. There's nothing more nerve wracking than that. But we did it. And now, guess what? Uppercut. And you're out of here. You're out of here. Uppercut into the water and now shark your shark food, sir. And that's it. That is Donkey Kong Country 2, almost. Because we still have that last special world to do. I guess I can skip this story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can rag on me all you want, you old you old hermit. have made sure that K. Rule never tries a cheap trick like this again. Which is funny because he's not actually gone. I'd reckon I found all those cram coins and completed the so-called Lost World. Oh well, you can't expect everything from your first game, can we? This is not my first game. So, one more thing. How many of my special video game hero coins did you find? Real players such as myself would have found plenty, I'm sure. Well, I did find plenty. So, in your face. I'm only missing a few. Let's see how well you did, A. Why do you have three dollars? Something that's three dollars and something that's two dollars in your hut, sir. Oh, look at him. Second place. Link, get out of here. Link would actually be there if you didn't have enough card coins, so. And that picture of Mario is actually really weird. Not bad for a young'un. You have to find a few more if you want to be as big a hero as I was. I want proof of that. I want proof. That you actually did that. Second of all, how did Yoshi and Mario get in this game? They're not rare characters. Yeah, I don't I don't care. Now buzz off to see you can find more of my coins, which I very much doubt you will. Well, you you're gonna be surprised, sir. Because now we have to watch the credits. And this is gonna take a forever. But I, I can't. I guess I could take this time to kind of reflect on the game, but it's the, the, it's not over though. That's the problem. It's not over yet. Um, but yeah, this is if if I had to make a top ten list of games, my favorite games in the world, like my most favorite games, this would probably be on that list. Just because I I like to associate games with points in my life. And if I remember good things about that point in my life, I, I get generally have favorable reviews about that game. Because so I think, if I haven't mentioned it before, this is the first game I actually skipped school to play. But it was the GBA one, of course, because I played the GBA one before I played this. But I actually skipped school. The first time I ever played hooky in my life was to stay home and play this game. And I regret it almost every day of my life. 
not really, but it's a great game. Um, yeah. So there's not a whole lot to say. Um, I'm just, I'm surprised I actually got K rule on the on the first go. I was I was so worried when I lost that last cannonball and then dodged the spit like the things that reverse your controls. I was very 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 concerned there. But we did it. We did it. I did it. We is me. But at this point, um, I guess I could I guess I could elaborate on future projects too. What is even going on right now? I think it's either th it's this. I had this sitting out there for a while, and then I still have Wind Waker. I still have freaking Wind Waker from three years ago. Or no, is it three? Yeah, it was 2014, I believe. Three years, April of 2014. I still have to finish that blank, that that flipping game. And man, I finished that game like on my main account for that, and I just like had no interest. It was. I had no interest in playing it again. I just, I feel like Wind Waker's just, eh. I feel like it's one of the most overrated Zeldas, in my opinion. It's just, I, it felt clunky to me in certain ways. I don't know. After playing Twilight Princess again, then Twilight Princess HD, because we know, you know, a lot can happen in three years. Other Zeldas can come out. After playing Twilight Princess 3D and then playing Breath of the Wild... Um, yeah, a lot of things can change, so, I don't know, I, I'll eventually, I feel like I should, I really, really do want to get back to Wind Waker, because it was a, from what I remember recording, it was a pleasant experience when I wasn't an idiot forgetting where keys are in, uh, the lost, that, that forsaken forest, like, not, not forsaken fortress, I mean the, that, that, what's the dungeon called? I don't remember, it's that forest place, so. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely have to be getting back, back to that. I have no timetable when. I don't even know what I'm doing next after this. I don't even know if I'm doing the third of these games. Because honestly, the third one of these games is not my favorite. Uh, it's not bad, but it's not. It's just kind of eh. It's just kind of there. Personally. And it's got levels that I really don't look forward to. So. I don't know. Eventually. Maybe. I still have. Hell, I still have to buy it. So. I only own for number one and number two. So. I don't know. At this point, it's just kind of... I'm, I'm playing it by ear. So, I don't... Beyond DKC3 and Wind Waker, I have no idea what I'm going to do next. I do have... I guess if we're talking about future things, I do have a Splatoon 2 impressions video that I want to do based on the test fires that they did back in March. If I recall correctly, I recorded some of the footage from from those and edited them all together, and I kind of want to give my impressions on them and talk about it. But I just naturally need to sit down because, as you know, if you've watched me for a while, commentaries where I just talk over gameplay when I'm not playing are not my strong suit. Hell, I don't even know if this is my strong suit doing what I'm doing now. So, but yeah. So at this point. We're just gonna, we're, we're playing it by ear. I know I said that already, but that's seriously what we're doing. Once these credits finish, I can end this video, because then in the next one, we're gonna go do the last uh, Lost World level, which is probably the hardest, and then we'll finish off the game, because as soon as that's done, we're done with the game. Or there's a one last boss, and then we're done with the game. DYs. David Wise, you are a genius and talented mother effer. So at this point, I'm just waiting for the credits to get over with. Yeah, because credits are fun to sit through, right? Right? Not really. Not really.
All right, finally. I just wanted to t stop rambling like a lunatic and listen to the music there, so. Now Cranky's still talking. Still talking. Press it down lots of times. What? I, I, I'm not sure what he's referring to, but I don't care because I just want to be done with this. Now switch this cartridge off and let me get some sleep. I reckon I've earned it. Do you actually, do you actually have to switch it off? I don't remember if No, you don't. Okay, we're good. It resets for me. Okay. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, in the next video, I already said what we're going to do. We're going to finish this game off 100%. And it's going to be a grand old time, so I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble for way too long. Uh, take care. Bye.